What is up, YouTube? Deb Slavin here, also known as Digital Gene Pool from Twitch TV, bringing you my first ever, ever YouTube series. Um, it's actually going to be a short series. Uh, what I'm doing is the June International. Uh, for you who don't know, the June International was a sign-up tournament coming up based on the VGC format from Pokemon Company. Uh, doubles format, Kalos Pokemon, that format changes every year. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to hop right in, show you what Pokemon I am using, uh, maybe explain why I'm using them, why not, and then we're going to hop into battles. Oops, didn't want to do that. Organize. Okay, first off, we got Ferrothorn. A gyro ball, power whip, leech seed protect, your typical one. Iron barbs and lefties. Basically, you try to stall them out, get some health. You got your typical Garchomp. Uh, Earthquake, Dragon Claw, Rock Slide, protect, Lumberry. Next up, we got Guardiavore. Um, Psychic, Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, and Dazzling Gleam. Um, yeah, I have a bunch of coverage there. I think she is probably one of the stars in the team. She hits hard, does well. Next, we got Rotom. Overheat, Discharge. A lot of people like picking Thunderbolt or Volt Switch. I'm using uh, Discharge because with Guardiavore, with the Telepathy, and Garchomp's immunity, works out pretty well. I think I said Will Wisp Protect. Uh, okay, next we got Kangaskhan. So for you those guys that know Mega Kangaskhan, uh, this is not your typical setup here. you got Fake Out Sucker Punch, which are normal in VGC, but you also have Hammer Arm and Double Edge. I'm going for pure offense. Um, it's kind of a suicide, in a way. Suicide Pokemon? Uh, yeah, you got your Double Edge, which has the recoil, and the Hammer Arm that slows you down. But I'm hitting harder for a lot more damage, and... Yeah, I don't know. It's worked out so far in testing. Uh, again, this is a whole team I'm testing. I'm actually testing for the Nationals coming up here in a couple weeks. Next up, we got Sableye with Foul Play, Confuse Ray, Fake Out, Will Wisp. Um, I don't like Swagger. A lot of people like using Swagger on this guy. I like Confuse Ray a little better, uh, just because I don't like to. What I'm saying, I don't like to increase their attack. I don't want to accidentally increase someone's attack and they just go to town. So, further ado, let's hop in. Um, I will preface, I've accidentally played one match beforehand. And <laughs> I won! I actually swapped him 4-0. He only did, he only hit one of my Pokemon once, otherwise I was just one hit KOing. So, we're going to hop in the battle spots. Online competition. We're just going to battle. Right now, my rating is 15 13. Put the good music on. I like uh, music number 8. And there we go. Gustavo, 1503 rating. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, got Drift Bloom, Nidoqueen, Charizard. That could be X or Y. Gorgeist, Weavile, and by Barrel. Wow. Um. So we're gonna lead off with Kang. I don't know really what else to do here. Uh, that's actually kind of interesting setup. There's only one one that really confuses me is the Drift Bloom. By Barrel is kind of. Eh. I'm not too worried about. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lead off with Kang and Gardevoir, and have Rotom and Garchomp in the back. This quick combo. I see no purpose of Fairthorn and Sableye. Yeah. Let's go. So, Dev versus Gustavo. Sorry if I butchered that name. <laughs> Gustavo is issuing a challenge. Go, Kangaskhan and Gardevoir. Gorgeist and Driftbloom, hmm. Oh, I frisked my Choice Scarf, huh? Well, luckily I have a scrappy Kangaskhan. So we're going to go Fake Out and Psychic. Let's see what rolls here. 
They got the drift line. Why did I psychic? I meant to, um... Daggone it. I should have, uh, shadow balled. I wasn't thinking. That was my fault. So, I'll already make a poor decisions here. And now I'm locked in. Mega Evolve. Gonna go for the Sucker Punch. Going back with another Psychic. We'll see what happens here. How about it failed? It's probably, is he double wool lisping me? I wonder. Oh well. Doesn't matter. I want to go for the Sucker Punch on the Gorgeist. Minimize. Oh, he's going for a cheap, cheap, cheap trick right now. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> going for a cheap trick. He's probably going to minimize this whole time. Alright, bye barrel. I got my attack cut in half. So we're going to hammer arm the barrel. Psychic the Drift Blim. We're just going to keep on smacking this thing. I wasn't expecting to go for such a cheap trick. Speed falls, I don't really care. Going for the minimize again. <sighs> He's probably going to minimize one more time. Make it a pain in the ass to knock him out. Moody. Special attack rises. And his accuracy fell. <laughs> okay. So, um, let's go ahead and hammer arm. Actually, I'm going to... Yeah, hammer arm by barrel. And back to psychic with Drift Bloom. We're just going to keep on swinging at this Drift Bloom. Baton pass? Are you kidding me? Who are you baton passing to? Nittle Queen. Oh, please let the Psychic kick. Please let the Psychic kick. That's all I'm asking. Make him angry. Make him angry. Yikes. Oh, survives. 5 HP. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. So he's going to break the Drift Blim back in. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't go for that cheap thing again. Um, I'm just going to swing at this Nidoqueen. Queen. I'm not really worried about the Drift Blim at all. Sludge Wave. Oh, but he's going to hit his own Pokemon. That's lovely. That's lovely. <laughs> Double edge. Sweet. That's not going to do much because of the Intimidate and the Burn. Bring in Rotom. We're going to bring in Garchomp. Time for a little bit disquaking going on here. Actually, no, I can't disquake. Crap. That's going to be a problem. Because it's ground type over there. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. Dragon Claw onto the Nidoqueen. Queen. Sweet. Minimize. That's going to be annoying to hit. 
Ice beam. Oh, uh, nope. <laughs> Not holding in there. Losing to some cheap parlor tricks. But that's uh, that's part of it. I mean, hell. If I can get this overheat right here, I think I might win. Now he's just going to start raising his defenses up. Yes! I wish that would have hit last turn. That would have been nice. So, down to Driplum. I wonder what his attacking move is. Because you know he's just going to keep on stockpiling. Okay, this is not good. Uh, we're going to go with a little Will Wisp. Come on, hit him. I'm going to keep on going for it. That's the only thing I think I think I can do. It's just keep on going and get him get the burn. Ominous wind. Man. It's, it's a cheap trick, but at the same time, it's good. I mean, it's a good... It's attack rose. Defense rose. Wow. This guy's just all about... Balking up. Come on! Hit him at least one time. If I could stall him out. Uh, I think this is GG. I think I'm going to lose the first one on the YouTube. Not starting out great. Come on. Uh, Willis. Because if I hit him, I'm at, I'm at minus four. I'm not going to hit him hard. So if I at least get the little wisp off. Yeah, that's GG. Oh, well. One and one in the tournament. I'm not happy about this. I'm pretty sure if he went to actual VGC tournament, he probably wouldn't go very far. Not to downplay anybody, but that's just... Wow. Do I want to save the video? No. Continue battling. Yes. So I'm... One and one, I'm fourteen ninety seven rating. Going with music number eight once again. Sorry there, I had a message on my phone. Searching for a posing trainer. Really, what I probably should have done that last match is I probably should have went for the Will Will Wisp soon as he brought him out, because you know I, I should have knew he was going to bring that out again. I mean, it, it's a strategy. I'm kind of frustrated I lost, but it's a strategy. Man. Also, while we're waiting here, um, check me out on Twitch TV and Twitter and Facebook. Everything slash digital gene pool. Uh, Twitch TV, I haven't been kind of gone from it for a little bit. Uh, haven't really been able to do much because I'm in the process of wanting to move. But hopefully here soon, I'll be back up. And looks like we got another player here. Terry with the 1514. This is what I'm expecting. Compared to that last team. This is more what I'm expecting. Uh, you know he's going to start out with Leopard. Uh, prankster. Hmm. Azumarill. That Lucario. I'm not for sure what's going to happen. So I'm going to... Go out with Sableye and Kangaskhan.
Gardevoir. I can outspeed that Gengar and Nidoking. And then Rotom Heat seems like about a good choice. Or does it? Yeah, because that Lucario. Let's roll. Uh, do I? Ferrothorn might be a good choice. There's also Garchomp. Yeah, let's go Rotom Heat. Uh, the Azumarill, we can Electric, and... Ducario. We can uh, hit with uh, Overheat. So... Terry is issuing a challenge! Good luck, Terry! Lay apart Lucario! Uh, I'm gonna go with the Will List right off the bat on the Lucario. It probably has Inner Focus. And the Leopard's probably going to go for a Fake Out on me. So, I'm actually going to go for a... I'm just going to go ahead and hit Hammer Arm. See what happens. Really, that Prankster is what I'm more worried about. Because I have different options for Lucario. Mega Lucari, that's what I kind of expected. I'm thinking it's faster than me. Oh, uh, this could be bad. Man, I should have went for the fake out. Because I know Kangaskhan's about to be faked out. Really? Okay, that was a good predict. Good predict. Now I'm just going to team up on it. If I can live, that is. I don't know what he's packing. I don't know if it's a special. Fell for the taunt. Aura Sphere. Yep. Ooh, this is not good. I fell for it. That was my own stupidity. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring out Rotom. Wow, I might get... I'm in a bad situation here. One thing I can do is foul play. There. And I'm going to overheat the Lucario. It's probably going to protect, most likely. Yep, knew it was doing it. Foul play. Not very effective. We're just going to keep on foul playing the Leopard. And we're going to go ahead and just keep on overheating that over there. With Drew! What are you going into now? I did forgot what else you brought. Salamence! Oh yeah, I really don't care about the Intimidate. Most likely it's a special, and most likely it's a choice. Sit 
stabilized, paralyzed, and can't move. Taunt wore off, thank you. Oh, no, it's going to keep on doing it. Actually, uh, we'll just go ahead and try to get the Salamence out of play. Stop it! There we go. And... Uh, oh no, because it's going to Encore me. I'm just going to go with the Discharge. Leopard's such a good Pokemon. I actually considered that over my... Considered that over my Sableye. Sorry, I was paying attention there. Um... Get a paralyzed, that'd be nice. Yeah, I'm I'm screwed. It's gonna come down to my uh Guardivore. And against that Lucario, it's not looking pretty. If I can get this taunt worn off and we'll uh, we'll wisp is not gonna work on it. Run him avoid the attack. Survives for another day. Come on, paralyzation. Critical hit on Salamence. And the paralyzation. Thank you. Thank you, Arden Jesus. And, oh my gosh, Sableye, you are so pathetic right now. Only if I can get that paralyzation over there. Fully paralyzed. That's going to help. R-Sphere. See your Rotom Heat. Mm. Not very effective. And Leopard's out. So, man, I might be in this one. Uh, and the taunt ward off. And Needle King comes out. Ooh. This is not pretty. Uh, I'm going to go for the Confuse Ray on the Lucario. And then... Psychic. Get the stab. See if I can knock out the Nido King. Confuse Ray the Lucario. Hopefully it hits itself and then stalls another turn. That's the only thing I could think of. Earth power. It's choiced. It's a choice scarf Nido King. Wow. Hit yourself, hit yourself, come on. Yes! I might win this. Wow. It is turned around. It turned around. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. I thought I lost that one, guys. <laughs> Man, I was backed against the rope the whole time. I'm actually going to save that. Let me use that for another video sometime. Man, that was beautiful. Yes, I'm going to continue battling. As I said, if I could get that Leopard out early, I'd have been alright. And which, after I took it out, I'd, I'd turn that game around. So what's he packing here? Um, we got Blastoise, Aerodactyl, which... Ooh, man. Hmm. 
Who's going to be your Mega? Chestnut, Rotomosh, Hydreigon, and T-Tar. So, taking a look out here, we got Rotom Wash and Rotom Wash, Aerodactyl, and Hydreigon are the only ones I'm truly worried about. At the same time, I'm not. Uh, the T-Tar might be a problem, depending on what it is. We're going to go with Mega King again. We're going to bring Gardevoir out in the front. Ferrothorn. Do I dare bring Garchomp, or do I bring... Yeah, Garchomp might be the better choice. That Chestnut might be scary. But the Rock Slide and Earthquake could be more useful. And Dragon Claw. I'm assuming that it's either Choice Specs or Choice Scarf on that. Hydreigon. Time's about to go up. Um, Garchomp. There we go. Can't pronounce your name. Is issuing you a challenge. Aerodactyl. Yep. Probably fake out Blastoise. Your team is too nervous to eat berries. Oh, no. Blastoise is most, right, most likely run fake out. And... I'm just going to go balls to the wall with a uh, Dazzling Gleam. I'm assuming the Aerodactyl is probably going to Sky Drop. Or it might Mega Evolve. Actually, no, it would have Mega Evolved right here. Mega Blastoise. Okay. Question is, am I faster than the Aerodactyl? Tailwind support. Okay. Okay, I can see it. It does a decent amount of damage. Um, we are actually going to Sucker Punch the Aerodactyl. Dazzling Gleam, again, because we're a choice, we're locked in. There goes the Aerodactyl. Water Spout. Ooh. That kind of hurt. So, on, in actuality, I probably should have Sucker Punched the Blastoise. Hmm. But I bet you, I think he's running max speed on everything, so my Choice Scarf is kind of useless. Dazzling Gleam again. Rock Slide. Not good. Not good at all. Hold in there. Kangaskhan's still living in there. Holy cow. Um, Ferrothorn, I think, is the best choice here. I'm going to Sucker Punch the Blastoise. Then I'm going to Power Whip the T-Tar. Man. Should have predicted it. 
flamethrower, special. Oh, it's probably running that special one I saw on Nugget Bridge. Mmm. And there goes Genghis Khan. Oh well. You win some, you lose some there. Bad choices on my part. I should I should have went for the uh, probably should have went for double edge, just suicide myself out. Guard chomp. Most likely he's going to protect with the Blastoise, thinking I'm going to go for him. So I'm actually going to Dragon Claw the Chestnut. And I'm going to protect for the leftovers. I think that was a good call. Seed bomb. That might hurt a little bit. Nope. Left these cams over. My ferret thorn here. Dragon claw. One more time. And we're gonna power whip. The Blastoise. This battle can go either way right now. It just depends on what happens right here. Ah, uh, man. Maybe I should have a double targeted the Blastoise. Because if it has Dragon Pulse, that could be in trouble. But I'm assuming it has Fake Out, Protect, Water Spout. I want to know what his second move is. Or it's fourth move, I meant. It's probably a second attacking. That's fine. Get that protect off on you. Dragon Claw. Let them buff it from the storm. So, I'm actually going to protect my guard chomp, save it a turn, and I'm going to power whip the Blastoise. Protect it, because it's probably going to go for the Seed Bomb one more time. I think the Sandstorm could beat it out. Good choice. Hammer arm. He should take some damage from the iron barbs. Yes. Should take some sandstorm damage over there. Oh, it subsides. Okay. One dragon claw should take him out. Most likely he's going to protect. Nope. And that's game. Woo! I'll take it. I will take it, ladies and gentlemen. So, I am 3-1 and one in the tournament. 2-1 um, and one on the stream. I had a good comeback this one. Um, I'm actually going to end this video here and possibly start up another one, see where this goes. Um, I would appreciate your guys' feedback. I am new to YouTube, obviously. Uh, <laughs> it's first ever series. I want I want no feedback. You know, I'm not going to be the greatest person ever. I already know that. I'm not the greatest battler. I doubt myself a lot, and I don't I don't play a whole lot, so I don't really know. I really don't know a whole lot. So, yeah, um, give me your feedback. Um, I like positive positive criticism. Don't be a troll. Don't be a dick. I just flat say it that way, uh, and just help me out. And so yeah, hopefully I'll see you next time. And also check me out on Twitch TV and Twitter.
I usually update my Twitter a lot. And yeah, have a good day.